Hello world, this is Random Fix, and we have smart phones, smart cars, smart watches, and why don't we have smart jumper cables? And after watching this video, you're going to be throwing your old crusty jumper cables in the trash. There they go. And the best part about the jumper cables I'm about to show you right now, they have no downside. And has this ever happened to you? You had the perfect day planned out. Or it was a very important meeting that you had to get to. And you jump in your car. You put the key in the ignition. And you give it a turn. And nothing. Your vehicle doesn't start up. And you're running behind schedule now. So you go and rush to go get your jumper cables. And you finally get your jumper cables located and you got your jumper vehicle and the wires everything is run you go to connect it only to realize you've gotten backwards and you may end up damaging some very expensive electronics so i'm going to show you guys now the jumper cables that everybody needs to have in the back of their car and finally jumper cables have a little bit of an intelligence built into them and these new jumper cables will not only help you get your vehicle started they can actually help you diagnose what's going on. I'm going to show you guys these now. All right, guys, here it is. This is the jumper cable of the future, and I'll have a link to this in the description box below. Look how intelligent this is. You actually point the vehicle that actually has a discharged battery. In this case, it's this Camry here, and then the Prius. It's going to be my booster vehicle. And check out how long these are. These are 12 feet, and you're going to go ahead and connect the ground anywhere you can find a suitable ground so I'm gonna go put it right here and with that connected it's able to actually display to me what's going on and as you can see my car shows that it has 11.6 volts but when I go to crank it it doesn't obviously crank and I'm gonna show you guys how this is gonna make troubleshooting a lot easier so let me go ahead and leave the camera on the box here as I go try to start the vehicle and see what happens And for staying tuned till the end, guys, I'm going to give you my three tips on what you can do to see what's going on with your vehicle and why it's not starting. And as you guys can see in the video, that, that wasn't actually the true voltage of the battery. So that was known as a, a ghost charge or surface charge. And that's why I love these jumper cables. They make the troubleshooting a breeze so not only are you going to get your vehicle jump started you're going to be able to almost check if that you got a charging system issue or you got a battery and what's really going on so these cables are going to be a definite recommendation for me and i'm going to go and start up the vehicle now and the nice thing about this is everything actually has a system of getting done so what you do is you connect the positive cable here first on your booster vehicle and on the vehicle that needs a jump uh, start you're going to go ahead and connect the positive and after that you connect the negative and lastly you're going to go connect to the negative here on the booster vehicle and now we're connected and one thing that i really like about this uh, jumper cable is the way that the teeth actually grab so you can see that it's got the regular jigsaw teeth but you can also see there's a round tooth right there and that's really helpful in a lot of the new vehicles that have jump ports instead of batteries in the front and it does a better job of actually grabbing that terminal and there's less of a chance that it's going to slip off and potentially damage some electronics so that is really cool. All right, now that we're connected to the booster vehicle, you can see that the battery voltage here now is going to read 13.6. And you want to let the vehicle charge up for a few minutes just so that the booster vehicle has a chance to go ahead and charge up the vehicle that has a discharge or dead battery and let that sit for about five minutes. 
and within five minutes you're going to be able to go and start the vehicle and obviously if you have a V8 or a diesel vehicle it may take a little bit longer because of the amount of power that's actually needed to start the vehicle so let's go ahead and try this out now all right so it's been about five minutes I'm back in the camera here and there it goes the vehicle has started And if I go disconnect the negative here on this vehicle, I'm actually able to still see what's going on with the vehicle that had the dead battery. As you can see, the vehicle is charging at 13.6 to 13.7 volts. And this is going to be pretty normal. Again, this is going to make troubleshooting really, really cool. It does have a reverse polarity protection as well. So if you do hook it up backwards, you're going to get a little beep. And this has a small internal breaker built in so if you're managed to connect this backwards it will let you know I just want to show you guys what happens on the vehicle if you do connect it backwards on the booster vehicle it will not spark and we are connected so that is pretty cool voltage is still reading so this is gonna be a definite winner and for staying tuned till the end for your vehicle to start you need a battery voltage of at least 10 volts and if your vehicle starts and the charging voltage is under 13.2 or over 14.8, you may want to look at your charging system. Now that I got my vehicle started, I would love to hear from you guys. I want to know about you guys' horror stories of using jumper cables and potentially what kind of damage you guys might have caused by getting it backwards. So leave it your comments in the description box below if this is the first time you guys are checking out the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button right here so anytime i post a video that's aimed to save you money time and a headache you're gonna get notified so give the video a thumbs up have a great day and take care you know if you guys have any comments hit the subscribe button and i really appreciate your continued support